Hi friends, Laura Snow here with the Red Cliffs Desert Reserve. I thought today it might be fun to explore one of the most popular areas in the reserve, Pioneer Park. Um, we are going to climb way up high, check out the view. We're going to scramble our way through a slot canyon and check out an old pioneer cabin made right in the rocks and hopefully see some critters and just enjoy one of our really neat spots here in the reserve. So come along. I am scrambling my way up to the arch, but I love all of the rock formations. So this is all Navajo sandstone, same rock layer as you will find in Zion National Park without all the people. And I just think it's cool to, it's like, kind of like a big playground here and you can just scramble around and all these little sandstone nooks and crannies and one of the things that I think is so interesting about the Navajo sandstone is that it is the petrified remains of the largest sand dune desert in the world so millions and millions of years ago this was a huge wind blown sand dune desert, um, just like the Sahara Desert. And if you look close, see how there's almost like brush strokes in the sandstone here? Those are called cross bedded striations. And you can actually tell what direction the wind was blowing hundreds of millions of years ago and you can see the spots where the wind actually shifted direction and started depositing the sand at a different angle and then we have all of these little pockets in the sandstone here's a good example of them those are places of calcium weakness because the Navajo sandstone is held together with calcium carbonate and these places that calcium carbonate is gone and so the rock has actually been eroded from the inside. I kind of think about it like osteoporosis of the rock. All right, excuse my puffing and puffing here. We have made it all the way up to the top, to the little sandstone arch. And I like this one because there's actually a couple different little arches and you can go right through it. And kids, please don't carve your name into sandstone. I feel like nature is really just perfect the way that it is. And there's not really any reason to leave your mark, but this is definitely a spot where a lot of people have made the decision to carve into the rock. And it looks like birds like to hang out right there. And we will walk down to the other small arch right there. I ducked into a nice little shady spot on my way down to the smaller arch. And I like these little windows here. And if you look out there, you can see the smaller arch. And we will pick our way up there from up here on top, you can see just about the whole city of St. George out there. This is a really good spot to look out over the city lights at night. And back there, you've got the other arch. So we are up on the tippity top of Pioneer Park. So 
I figured next we will crawl down into the deep, dark recesses of the, the crack. I know flowers are so last week, but I really like this combo of the brittle brush and the indigo brush growing right next to each other. And I just feel like you can never have too many spring wildflowers. I think that the purple and yellow combination is super cool. Got a little honeybee there. Good job, honeybee. One of my favorite things to do in the desert, chase lizards. Little tiny baby desert spiny lizard. Hi buddy. We are coming in to the little slot canyon area. It goes by a couple different names here. The St. George Narrows and the Crack. It's a great shady, cool spot. I like this big ash tree growing right at the mouth of the canyon. We'll head up in there. I think that the cool shade of a desert slot canyon and the call of the canyon wren is one of my favorite places to be in the whole world. Scrambled up a little bit higher in the slot canyon and found a little bird nest. A little mama bird sitting there. Mike, our biologist, would know what kind of bird that is. I uh, it has a long tail. We'll call it a western king bird. Yeah, we'll call it that. Chasing canyon runs through the canyon. Where'd you go, dude? Oh, he's way ahead of me. We are up inside the slot canyon. I love it back here. And we're going to try to get up and out that way. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Okay. <laughs> if you are claustrophobic, this is probably not the spot for you. I'm going to keep going, though. Wish me luck. Inching my way along. Think skinny thoughts. That is my mantra right now. Almost out. So, turns out if you are a full grown adult, up and out that way is just not happening. Um, this is what I do to get you guys the quality content you want. Um, I'm gonna turn the video off while I attempt to extricate myself. Not really. I'm okay. I promise. Um, but I'm definitely too big to get up and out that way. We'll go back the way we came. Still wedged in the crack. But look at how cool the view is. It's so neat. So even if 
you aren't as dumb slash adventurous as me, you should still come on up here, even just a little ways, and check it out. I survived the crack. <laughs> I feel like this is a much more civilized width. There's the crack there and really beautiful little alcove down in here where even the claustrophobic can enjoy the shade of the Slot Canyon and not have that I'm being squished by a rock feeling. So this one took me a minute to find. This is the Boy Scout Cave, not to be confused with Scout Cave that is over by Snow Canyon State Park. And this is a pioneer cabin that is built right into the sandstone. And I tried to find information about it online. Um, and all I could find was that they call it the Boy Scout Cave because Boy Scouts used to camp in here, but they didn't really have any, sorry about my finger, they didn't really have any information on who built it, but I think it's really cool. Look, this is the fireplace here and the chimney goes up and out. And it's nice and cool in here. You can see that it is pretty spacious. You got a window. I would totally live in here. I think that my kids might have some qualms about that though. Um, if anybody local knows who built the pioneer cabin that is Boy Scout Cave, I'd love to hear from you. Whew, it's hot out there. I'm just gonna stay here in Boy Scout Cave. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, you know what I would love from you guys is in the comments, I'd love to hear what your favorite part of Pioneer Park is, or if you guys have any memories of coming here as a kid or bringing your kids here. I think that Pioneer Park is such an iconic piece of St. George that everybody who's visited or who lives here probably has some really cool memories about um, this place. And if you have any questions or anything else, feel free to send me a message or comment. And as usual, please like and share. And if you are on our YouTube channel, we'd love it if you would subscribe and we will see you next week. Bye.